Hello guys, so today I'm going to show you how to create a Terraria server. Now, it's a very simple process. So firstly, just simply get the game, then go to the website of terraria.org. So it is the official website of Terraria. Now, all you have to do is just simply scroll down and click on this link over here, which is PC dedicated server. Click on that option. Then a download should pop up and a zip file will be downloaded. So just simply download the zip file. After the downloading is complete, just simply extract the zip onto your desktop over here. And extract the zip. Now inside the zip folder, you will find another folder by the name of the version of the game that you currently have. So open that folder again and inside you will find three more folders. And in that you will find multiple OSs like Windows, Mac and Linux. So whichever version you are using, just simply open that. So in my case, I am using Windows. So I will open Windows. Now over here, you will find few things. So the important thing that you have to do is just simply right click on Terraria server. Click on show more properties or show more options over here. Then click on create shortcut. Now in the shortcut, right click on it, open properties. Now over here, you have to do few things. So just simply go to the end, hit space then dash, then write config. Then just simply write the name of the server config. So it is over here. So just simply copy this and paste it right over here. Then click on apply, then okay. Now just simply drag and drop this onto your desktop. So just simply double click on it. Now wait for a few seconds. So over here you find few worlds that you may have created or the default world itself. Now, in my case, we are going to create a new world. So just simply type in N for new world, then hit enter. Now the world size, so it's going to be small. And in the type, classic. And it's going to be random. So again, one, hit enter. Now enter the name of the world. So it's going to be how to mentor 002. Then after adding the name, hit enter. Then enter seed. So it is basically the speed of generation of the world. So if I would suggest just simply keep this by default. So all you have to do is just simply hit enter. Now wait for this process to complete. Now after it's finished, just simply enter the name of the world that you just created. So in this case, it's going to be how to mentor 002. So just simply type in 2 and hit enter. Now just simply choose the number of max player. So in this case, the maximum limit is 16. But in my case, I will just go with 3, then hit enter. Now server port. So by default, it is 7777. So I will just simply keep this by default. So hit enter. Automatic forwarding. Yes or no. So yes, I want to keep this open. So just simply click on yes. Means Y. Then hit enter. Then server password. So add a server password. For example, 123456. So now hit enter. Now wait for a few seconds and now your server has started. Now all you have to do is just simply launch your game. Now after your game is launched, just simply go to multiplayer then click on join via IP, select a world, then enter your IP address. Now if you don't know how to get your IP address, just simply go to your start menu, type in CMD. Now over here just simply type in IP config. Then just simply hit enter. Now over here you will find your IP address in front of IPv4 address. As you can see right over here. So after you have got your IP address, go back to the game. Then paste your IP address over there. Then just simply click on accept. Then enter the server port. In my case it was default 7777. Click on accept. Then the server password which was 123456. Then click on accept. Now the server has begun. And as you can see right over here, you will also find the world name down here. So that's it. And thank you for watching. And do like and subscribe to my channel and take care.